Wanjiro is the name I was given at birth. It has a cultural meaning. It recreated my father's oldest sister. However, the missionaries and the British colonialists who couldn't pronounce my name considered my identity foreign. Eventually, those outsiders labeled me uncivilized, ethnic, traditional, tribal African woman, primitive, underdeveloped, illiterate, rural, heathen, and poor. The missionaries baptized me Josephine. Josephine became my ticket to heaven. I became a Christian and my name became familiar and easy for the missionaries to pronounce. Later on in college, I discovered that Josephine was the name of Napoleon's wife. She was a callous woman and very much unlike me. Josephine took me on a journey of learning in a different culture that promised me superior truths of modernity, civilization, urbanization, development, and literacy. My auntie was my garana or namesake. She was my natural mentor by virtue of the fact that I was named after her. I was known by this name to the whole group. And I learned and understood my Kikuyu traditions and gained a lot of support and fulfillment. My mother taught me what to do and my grandmother taught me why I did what I did. My chores consisted going to the river, tilling uh, the, the land, and I learned how to cook for myself and the rest of the family. I learned through proverbs, through dance, and observing and imitating others in the community. I started on an empty slate. My language changed from Kikuyu to English, and so did my world view. It was different. There was a new culture to be learned. Learning started with writing my name and my father's name. I lost my mother's name. Little on in boarding school, I had my own bed, I had a desk, and I was taught to label all my belongings with my name and that of my father. Later on, I realized that the I was uppercase, but all the other pronouns were undercase. This sent a strong message to me, which disputed a popular proverb which states, I am because we are, and because we are, I am. <laughs>